Yep, I'm back in Dirt Mouth. So, how's it going, everybody? Game from 53 here. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we went back to the white palette. <sighs> Give me a moment. We did a few backtracking. There was an extra boss in Dirt Mouth and in the City of Tears, specifically in the Tower of Love, where we defeated. Draper and Zoat and the Collector and got ourselves a, a small map that shows us the location of every single grub that we've missed. By the looks of the map, we missed only four of them. At least that's what I think. From our charms, we only have three left. And there's Two of them we get from getting the grubs. One is a lifeblood charm. Sniper. Ignore those. So. Hold on. I was. Jeez. Uh, I remember that email. Ismail does out. So. Just ignore when, whenever you see that icon. Just ignore it. Yeah. So I want to head to the King Station because yeah. I don't look. Also, to those of you that were paying attention to my charms, while my char my fragile charms were upgraded. So when I sit down, I'll show you. Um, so I've upgraded the Fragile Heart. So, off cam, I'm gonna divine from the Grim Troop it has been helping me upgrade my uh, Fragile Charms. So, Fragile Greed costs 9,000 Geo. Unbreakable Heart costs 12,000, while uh, Fragile Strength having 15,000 being the most expensive. Good reason. The reason why I'm going through the King's... I'll head through this area first because it's like the closest. You. There's no way I'm gonna counter your attack. Bad boy. Hey, they think I'm braided. Get out there. Okay, I remember this area. This is a, um... Boom. This is gonna be a gauntlet. Before I even head down, I want to get a checkpoint. Now the grub's somewhere up above. Don't you dare! No touchy! Ooh. 
good boys. Make no sense. I can't do much here because I don't want to risk, risk jumping over him and then getting hit. <laughs> Think you're so tough. There you go. Now, should we look at our map? This leads to the other side of the city. Before I, um... Okay, the grub's around here. Oh! Contact, seriously? I'm gonna change my charms. Because what we're gonna fight is probably what, well, along with Luke Mar, my least favorite bosses. By difficulty. Um, I guess I'll keep the Weaver Rings because it doesn't matter how much matter because the boss I'm fighting doesn't even get staggered once. Yeah, I'll get Soul Catcher. And yeah. The reason why I didn't equip, um, Fragile Strength is because I don't want to risk dying and then having it break. Yeah, it does cause the enemies to respawn, but I don't care. There's like an extra room up there. My pets are doing most of the work. Gotcha. Head through this way. I am getting flashbacks. And they are bad flashbacks. In the room in there, it looks like a boss arena. With orange... With orange flies on top. There's a blurkable ceiling here. Attack this. And it destroys something down below. It destroys... Some sort of corpse. Step in. 
try and enter through more. Boss battle. The Watcher Knights. Easily my least favorite, one of my least favorite bosses in the entirety of this game. This guy gave me a hard time. Not too hard to deal with when you know the patterns. Especially when you have a, a really good upgrade. Oh boy. Spells are useful against this guy. Or guys, if you're tough. They're practically like, um, the Nail Masters in size. Use the Nail Arts to your advantage. Oh, I got him with the... You normally have to fight six of these guys, but since I dropped the chandelier on one of them, we fight, we fight one less. Tell me. From my first playthrough. Tell me how's it feel watching knights to get pooped on. <laughs> We're already with Geo and uh and access to one of the dreamers. A thousand? Like we got to a thousand and they haunt us here. Here's another elevator. Can I dream out these guys? Master, too tired. I wish we could see the city from here. Like, from that point. Okay, uh, I want to check down because I never got the chance to look. Aha! I figured. Sleep beckons eternally and these words become my last. Through my gaze shall no longer fall upon the city. I'll act forever in its protection. For king, for bug, for hollow nest. I head now to my rest. I take it that's the most, the least we can do. Just so we don't have to take the elevator. Through here we can see the Sea of Tears. And a few... Venge flies. As they fly, fly by. Over here... Is one of the three dreamers. Over there is a is a helper, but I'm not gonna be be aggressive because there's been theories regarding that guy. He is a he's most likely a servant to to the dreamer here. I forgot his name. You know what? Now I think of dreams. There was something I was mean to talk about. Like, when I see this dream, when I'm in this dream, I actually was meaning to tell you guys something about a dream I had. And I, th I think it involves trumpet buying in some way. So, from what I can describe, from what I remember, is that, um, this dream was about me and my family being outside and inside on a sunny day like I'm just minding my, my own business enjoying the scenery my brothers just playing around with each other and my parents just sitting down on, a, on lawn chairs when I was looking at the scenery and then I looked up to the sky I can see the moon like it's natural for me to see the moon when the sun is out like for a lot of people but in this dream it wasn't natural Every time I look away and look back, the moon just looked like it was getting closer. 
what? Like four or five, four to six times more later. It was like so close. It's like a, a ball from this, from the distance and the size. But it turned around, and it, it's the, it was nothing but the moon from Zelda. I was like the only one freaking out. But everyone else is all calm. Like, it was straight right in front of them and they don't even care. <laughs> like, I got so sh scared I actually just ran inside the house because... I know what happens when the, what if you fail to stop the moon from... Moon. It would destroy the world. When it neared the ground, I braced for impact. Five minutes, I braced. Nothing happened. I looked outside. The moon is on the ground. Did literally no damage other than a small... Than a small crater where its nose is. What I'm about to say is going to sound really stupid. When I got to the moon... It still had that angry face, but when I looked closely, it was made of nothing but Lego bricks. Yeah, Lego. And then like 10 minutes later, a YouTuber of mine, Chugga Conroy, Chugga Conroy, wanted to say that slower because I don't want you guys to get confused. He said that it was a prank done by his friends. I was like, what? How, how long did it take for them to make a moon that size and act and acts just like the moon from Zelda? It's kind of weird. So my thought is, I'm sorry if I cause a big deal about it, that the moon falling down from the sky represents Biden, but then the Lego section and the explanation about the prank represents Trump's probably probably Trump's victory. And I'm sorry if I make a deal, big deal about it. It's a weird dream, I know, but my mom has been having similar dreams. Like, well, and they've been coming true lately, so I just... I don't know. I mean, if... If you have anything to say about this dream, I would like to know. But I'm sorry if I make a big deal about this whole Trump-Biden thing. I just had to get that off my chest. For King Beloved. To sleep. To self. Bonds must remain. When you exhaust a dialogue, there's nothing more but to attack them. That's one dreamer down. Boom. All right, where else do we have to, can we go? Hmm. Like, I can take the, this, I'll take the stag in the, in the, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I can take the stag, stag station to, from the city storerooms. 
and such. So, I guess I won't mind. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I still love the scenery of the Sea of Tears. <laughs> I wonder how it would look if this game was 3D. Like Zelda. Can you imagine how pretty it would be? I'm not saying that they, it should have been 3D. I'm just saying how it would have, could have looked. Like it would be green. Oh, no, I'm not falling down. There you go. Now I'm gonna gonna re-equip my more defensive stuff. And actually, yeah, I'll take it. There you go. I believe that's the entire city done. So, I haven't forgotten about the other two trials in the City of Tears. No, not the City of Tears. Coliseum of Fools. Also, that's how I got so much Dio to get the... Oh! Where are you? Die! Thank you. Can I stop? The reason why I'm not going to the Grub Elder is because I want to, I want, because from all the rewards that I get from him, I want to get all at once. Boom. Next stop, um, where? Distant Village, yeah. So there's a grub in the inside the second dreamer's den. There's Oh yeah, I'm let me um get rid of that because I don't need that anymore because I backtracked. I'll need to go here. Um and in the overgrown mound. Yeah, from now on, we still have a few dream roots, but those are optional to do. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think getting them all is necessary for 100% completion, but it would be nice to see what they could say. The music sounds so wacky. Greetings! You're very tired. Sit and rest. We're friends. Welcome. Sit and rest. Please sit and rest. It's warm and safe. Sit and rest. Welcome. You need rest. Sit and rest. They all just say the same thing. So this looks like we can dream nail them. From how they're saying that, I'm sit down. We're trapped. 
There's nothing we can do about it. Not even the... We're, we're now within the beast's den. Yeah. Yeah. This is practically like a maze. Another hole in that seal. What's that? Oh, jeez! Geo. So, we don't have a map of this area. Although, it does show something on the map, but it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, this way. Let me get my great slash. Please yeah. back down. Sounds like there's a rancid egg nearby. Oh, there's a spice there. Bad boy. Jeez. There he is. How much more does it make? Fifteen. There's a grub. Okay, I hear him. But where is he? Gotcha. Okay, you're good. We're here. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what this thing is up here. 
I can't seem to drain nail it. Whatever it is, it looks like some sort of ancient spider. Or like a some sort of source of web of the webs. Okay, down here is the way back. And with an actual map. I wonder what the, this, where the distant villagers are. Like, it must have been an ambush. Look, I know that they attacked us, but... Does it hurt to, like, at least think that they will have been attacked while trying to kidnap us? There you go. Here's our second dreamer. Oh, what the? Do you? Okay. Whatever just happened to me, that was weird. Bound. Or brood. Or child. Faith bargain made. Or fair bargain made, sorry. Give all. For her. There's Hornet. Mother, forgive my inaction, but now the past may be possible. So you've slain the beast, and you head towards that fated goal. I now have obstructed this happening, but it caused me some pain to no knowingly stand idle. What? You might think me stern, but I'm not completely cold. We don't choose our mothers, or the circumstances to which we are born. Despite all the ills of this world, I'm thankful for the life she granted me. It's quite a debt I owe, only in allowing her to pass and taking the burden of the future in her steed. Can I begin to repay it? Leave me now, ghost. Allow me a moment along before this bedchamber becomes forever a shrine. Okay, this is just another way through. Ah, blah, blah. Let me go through the other way just so I don't have to. Because I can get lost down there easily. There you go. Now, there's a, hold on. Let me look through the map. Hmm. I'll get that grub when I'm off cam. So, next stop is the Fog Canyon. I'm sure Coral's still admiring the view there. Okay, I need Queen Station. You know, I 
the Queen Station, there is an NPC I missed. And in order for me to survive, I need to give the Grimchild and the Weaverlings a break. There you go. Yeah, let's do it this way. Oh! Given such a treat of you! I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in the station and the taste is just divine. This place must once have become quite the hub. Built at the border between two lands. That misty drop in one side and those bubbless growths above. Another place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by by any time. Though I do like the quiet in this station, a little company is always good for one's health. This little creature looks tasty. I wonder, should I eat it? The others around here were awfully bland. Command cannibalism. Well, I wouldn't say cannibalism because you don't look like the same species of bugs. Right? I mean, I'm sure I made a good point. You know what? Out of all the areas in this game, I think the Fog Cannon has to be the smallest area. By size. Again, I want to be careful around the big jellies. The big Metroid looking things. I'm sure that hasn't hit anybody because they look exactly like Metroids. She's just through here. Monoman. That's her name. Crow's still here? Yeah, he's still here. I remember. He, we already exhausted his dialogue. Up here is a bench. Alright. Let me, um... Do this. And that. There we go. The reason why I'm, um, the reason why I'm not equipping strength and I'm instead putting on shaman stone, you are gonna be amazed! Because I, I just looked into this strategy and, oh my gosh, it destroys the boss within, like, three hits. This is gonna be very dangerous. This is acid water. Let's do this way, huh? Okay, a little bit more dangerous. To... Head down. Meet Umu. Now. Whoa. She has a protective... I assume it's a she, because Umu looks more like a mother Metroid. Like, in her own right. There's nothing we can do right now. That protective she bubble of hers keeps her safe. But we're not alone this time! One! Two! Well, I guess two and a half. Two and a quarter. But Quirrell's gonna have a cooldown limit to... Alright, come on. Good boy! Yeah, you see? Shaman Stone is OP against Umu. I won't die in one cycle, but he moved. Or she moved.
Nightlight and growth and can follow flow all think and feel old lights and essence and dream and growth oh and think about at king light change oh, light them can oh think flow about dream on contain very on growth and life those are very confusing to read There should be more on the other side. No description here. A tank full of char charged luma flies. Oh, absence! Their abundance, abundance shell outer, oh inner place in absence. Their void liquid substance. Oh, we we were absence inner O oh, shell outer. Their mat mater, <laughs> mater fear she void vessel absence all outer contain. Man, those are so confusing to read. Oh no, that's Monomun's way of talking. But I'm just gonna respect her. Something glows within the tank. Did she call you then? I realize it's no coincidence we arrived together. So much of my memory is blank, this place I recall. Within these chambers, the teacher sought to store the kingdom's knowledge, and at its core, she stored herself. To save Holonest, the teacher willingly became a seal. But upon herself, she enacted an additional protection. Though I cannot recall its happening, I played a part in that feat. She called her me here now to reverse that protection. All in aid of you. Ben, Do not hesitate. The choice to reform was hers, not mine. She knows what you will do and seem to welcome it. You think such a small creature would bear this kingdom's fate? Oh, almost fell out of the dream. For diversity, a seal. A world forever unchanging. The seals must break. Forever. That destroys the seal to the black egg. The madam's life is extinguished and with her with it, her seal breaks. It's a heavy thing you attempt, but I've seen your prowess up close, and she too believes you're capable. Be on your journey, then, and allow me to rest the time. With the deed complete, I begin to feel my age.
Don't worry, we're gonna see Coral again. That is all the dreamers done. So, let me see the pattern. I'm gonna try not to kill these little guys. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All the dreamers are done. Monomon being the last because she's my personal favorite of the bunch. So, we have two options. We can instantly head to the Black Egg now that we ha have collected almost everything we have. Or, we can, we can keep on exploring and collect every last bit of evidence we need. We need one more. There's the last lifeblood charm is in there, plus an arcane egg. Hmm. We still have two more Coliseum of Fools trials. And we have one one last um, interaction with Coral right here. Other than that, that seems like that's all. All the collectibles I'll do off screen. But other than that, there's a little area in the City of Tears, specifically in. Hold on, where is it? The Junk Pit, right here, that we can go to. Before we end this off, I would like to show you what they are. I'll be right back. There we go. Back in the room where we find that mysterious figure. Yeah. She's still down. What's dream now? We enter a dream. Or is it a dream? Blasphemy! Rank blasphemy! The crawler! The cringer! The smallest of the small! By what right does the trespass here? In this home of the gods! Shrivel away and be gone! We're inside of a new area. And it's more than just a dream. This is God Home. Yeah. Now, we see multiple doors. Through here. Yeah. You may have noticed we have multiple doors. Through here, you may have seen the pattern. We're practic it's practically like a boss rush. So, over here is optional. Same for going up. Now, I want to change my loadout. I don't think I don't think fragile charms can break in this area because it I guess it's a dream. I want to at least get all 
at least one of these done. So, in here we can choose bindings. They kind of like make things harder for you. Nail like it decreases the amount of damage you deal with it. Like specifically like taking it back to the old nail like it. Shell takes away half of your health. Charms disables all charms you can use. And soul limits your your soul to just using it for just one spell. To start off, who are we fighting? Wretch! Thou hast ordained to thine own destruction. Their sacred combats are we attuned to this kingdom's greatest beings. By entering this gate, thou hast challenged the very gods of this kingdom. Those that consider thyself the equal of this Pathian or its masters. Draw thy weapon, then full of fools, and be down for thy arrogance. That sounded very wrong for me to say. But I don't care. In the background is the God Seeker. So, we're fighting all bosses in a specific order. Starting off, he's gonna be, he or she, I don't know the gender, are gonna be watching us in the background while we fight the bosses. This is what's known as the Ritual of the as the, I think the Ritual of the Gods. As this, they seek a, the most powerful god. I'm not gonna spoil who the strongest god is. Boom. Okay, I was making sure I equipped the fragile strength charm. Because it felt a little too easy. Rut's mother. Next boss. Boss Knight. Boom. So, this place is why I'm so good at almost every boss fight. And at least... You see how much faster he's going down now that we have upgrades? A lot stronger. And uh, yeah, even some major enemies are counted as bosses. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna to rush this fight. I'm just gonna play it my own way. Not too hard. Boom. Yeah, you're little buggers. Plus, within God Home, there's actually a few special bosses in this fight, in this place. Here's Hornet Protector, which is Warren's first first fight. With our new. Coiled nail and unbreakable strength are 
our strength is a lot more greater than to the bosses we fought before. You have to keep your health out high because some of these bosses are pretty tough. And here's a spring and a bench to change our charms if we want. Let me get my Grim Child out. Now, there's something I have to tell you. These boss gauntlets. They expect you to do it all on the first go. Like, if you try and save and quit on a bench, you'll be quick kicked out. If you lose a... And they don't cast checkpoints. Because if you lose, you're gonna get kicked out of the Pathion. Not the Dream, just the Pathion. It's good practice for bosses during your spare time. And we see Gold. Yep, you get to see him teleport. Jeez. Don't defend her? You see, we already gone to the second phase. See how strong. And he literally goes into the foreground and everyone's screaming because it's so stinky. Soul Warrior. closely without the music and sound effects like the sword clashing it would sound like he's shooting like a it almost sounds like an enderman teleporting if you were to listen closely at your own time brooding Moloch the boss that I thought was gonna give me a hard time but didn't Why Hazel crept into this path on Omega One? The noise of thun wriggling creates much discord, drawing out the godly resonance we attune ourselves to. Thus, though, mean to throw our sacred goal. Dost envy drive through such madness? We pray that the gods of the kingdom punish thee, obliterate thee, utterly destroy thee. Creep, creep on, Omega One. And may the gods utterly destroy thee. O oh, gods of Hellenist, show us your might. We shall attune ourselves to thee and ascend even higher. And guess who this fight is? 
Nail Master Oro. The Nail Masters get their own boss fights. Starting off with Oro. Straightforward, he's like the Watcher Knights. And he's down. But it's not over yet. Brothers Oro and Mato. It's a 2v1. And they fight using coordinated attacks. Sometimes the mother will use us use more uh, nail art. So keep an eye. Like that! You see they attacked at all at once. That's because we one of them was protecting themselves and one is just using an attack like this one. One down. Have him jump over here. number one complete. Now, we, in order to get this, we need one boss that's only fought in the Coliseum of Fools. In here, we just go, we just go right for it. And you're gonna be surprised on who this nail master is. I'm not even gonna spoil who. <laughs> Though most ungrateful of blemish, the gods of their great mercy allow thee to escape their first path in alive. Yet still, if thee think to test thyself against their might, do them thyself then, and that we may resume our focus and ascend our minds even higher. Hive Knight! No! No touchy! You know, I there is something you should know. You can't attack the bee, the small bees, but it doesn't affect the fight. It doesn't kill them. Well, you can't kill them, but you can gain soul from attacking them. That I didn't get to mention that in the fight because I was too focused because that fight was pretty tough the first go. When we beat all Pathions, we are we we gain access to the final boss in some sort of stronger state. And trust me, that fight is so rigged. I hate it that much. Not spoiling who it is. Also, Seer said his name. Or her name.
No. This time, unlike the first time we fought Collector, he's not going to be staying there so he can take a lot more hits. Plus a boss we haven't seen yet! God Tamer! This guy is for, or gal, is fought in the, within the Coliseum of Fools. She is not necessary to unlock this fight. Unlock this Pathion. Fragile strength, or unbreakable strength, is useful against this. Now, you actually don't need to kill the, the Tamer itself. You can just simply kill it a... You can simply kill a pet. Killing the pet instantly will it instantly win you the fight. The tamer is optional to beat, but it does, but it just makes the pet more aggressive. I think. Grim, something I haven't mentioned yet. If you attack him, he screeches and instantly uses this attack. As you know, it's the whoa. He he instantly used the um, like it. He bowed towards the audience instead of me. Because uh, if you were to dream nail him, which I'll show the next time we fight him. He would. Depending on how you end the Grim Troop fight, Grim Troop side quest, he would say either traitor or saying something about the first time I ever got hit by that attack, darn it. As you notice, the Grim Child's not fighting. Well, probably because he doesn't want to fight his own father. like using quick slash for boss fights because you miss out on some good music. And some really unique attacks too. Regenerate on Soul. I think we fight Great Prince Zo in this, in this place. Let me change that up, and then try and. I figure I want to do more damage with spells because I've been using Descending Dark a lot. No chance! Now we, from this form, we get to see all of Zote's new abilities. You're not falling for, I'm not falling for that trick again. Now 
Now we get to see his full move set. He already gets these when he gets stronger for each fight. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah! Got his payback at least. <laughs> I have to give him that. He got his payback. Something I want to sh show off too. Down here, there's a little air practice area, if you want to call it. These are only unlocked when you fight the bosses through God Home. You can also instantly fight their dream variants immediately. Through here is just something unique about. It. Let's get these out of the way. I guess they're only unlocked when we get their boss fights unlocked. So, for every fight you encounter, you can you unlock their your their special fights. This empty god stands at Pathion's peak. From here, we can actually instantly fight Nightmare King Grim if we wanted. But as the thing I was talking about earlier with the path with the Coliseum of Fools, we're get we're gonna go there. I'll meet you over there. Actually, something I haven't mentioned. When you beat Pathions, this happens. Hallowed land tune gods. And I think there should be another NPC just up ahead. Right? No, there's not. Just as I thought. Oh! What are you doing out on this miserable downpour? Impressed found it, isn't it? I'm sure we'd be able to appreciate more if we weren't both getting drenched. That night up there was an important one. The plague here mentioned its sacrifice, which carries something of an ominous tone. Probably met some sort of horrible end, though it sounds like the night's goal may have been achieved in the process. In all the relics I've collected, I've yet to find a clue as to what that was. Let me fix the camera a little bit. There you go. I'll be getting back to the shop soon. If I stay out here too long, I'll get washed into the waterways. Come and visit if you like. If you have relics, I mean, I'm not much for chatter. Who were you, mysterious knight? Why no mention beyond your fountain? I wanted the same thing too. Honestly, the Hollow Knight does look pretty majestic with that armor on.
I feel like that the way, reason why I lost the Great Prince Zoify was because I never had unbreakable strength because because he goes down way faster. I guess I can like um go through he walk the rest of the way because the Coliseum's not too far now. go upwards. Come on, kid. Anything new? No. Alright then, so... Hmm. There. I'll get Weaver's song in here because it kind of worked last time. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this and get... Nail Master's glory. Just so we can then be able to, you know. Fight for Geo and a rare medal. Yes. Let's do it. Turn the brightness down a little bit. Oh! Whoa! Got little guys I remember from
Oh, jeez. I don't need to worry about these guys too much. Double kill. Good boy. Heal up. Heal one more. Oh, jeez. Fine for that. I am not fine for that. You thought I was gonna fall for that, did you? Ha! You thought wrong, punk. Things are getting tougher now. What's next, huh? Oh, these things. Throw those enemies from Green Path that shoot four ways at a time. Not too difficult. These guys, they're just a bunch of soul farms. Alright, then what's next? Ah, these guys! Oh, I hate you! These guys are really annoying together! for his next attack. Boom! 
Anything else? This gives us 2,000 Geo. And Pale Ore. We're getting close to our last upgrade. The last upgrade is necessary for the next fight. Trial of the Fool, yeah. That's the final one. And can I tell you, it's a doozy. Okay. In order for this, we need, um... I have to... I want to upgrade Unbreakable Strength and my Nail to the Max. I guess that's all for now. Next time on Hollow Knight, we're gonna... We're going to find all the grubs and get all the remaining charms left. Games 1053 sign out.